Yeah, a remarkable moment uh, for, for Albertsons and for grocery at large. I wonder if you can talk about broadly what comps have been like in this COVID era and to what degree that was marketed or priced in in, in uh, the offering and the roadshow. Uh, it's a proud day for Albertsons uh, overall, Carl. You're right. Uh, it's, a, it's a long story, a story of courage and conviction to put this company together over many years and uh, have a lot of patience. Uh, and you're right, over the last several months, we've seen a significant step up in demand, uh, especially for grocery. Uh, you know, as grocers, we carry a lot of great fresh product. If you're eating more at home, um, fresh matters, fresh matters that much more. Your produce and meats. And we've just seen a great lift from that because that's what we pride ourselves in. And I think that's an important factor to consider. And it was a part of the consideration as we went into this. What do we make of the talk that the number of shares should have been higher or that uh, we should have opened closer to what the original thought uh, pricing would be? You would think that the tape would be receptive to a name like this. Yeah, that's right, Carl. You know, uh, it, as you can imagine, it's so hard to predict what's happening in the market anymore. Uh, it's so different from the beginning of the week to the end of the week. Uh, but we are just proud that in this extremely difficult environment in the middle of a pandemic, uh, we were able to uh, IPO the company, and we're just proud, and, and I think green's good, and it looks like it's green so far, but we're ex I, I think it was a great accomplishment for us. And by the way, we are looking at the long term. Uh, it's uh, customers who matter. It's the long term that matters, and uh, we are delighted to have so many more investors with us. Hey, Vivek, good morning. It's, it's John Fort. I, I know you've got drive up and go curbside pickup. You've got home delivery. But I'm interested, exactly how much do you think grocery habits are changing? Are you going to have to accelerate those efforts? How much uh, of your investment over the next couple of years is going to go there? John, it's an important part of our agenda. We've been working at it for a long time. In fact, Safeway had delivery way back even before the word omni-channel came about. And uh, so we believe in that. Uh, we've got many different forms for our customers. It is going to grow. It will be an important part uh, of our uh, growth story and because customers just want it. But I will tell you, stores still matter. Uh, a lot of customers shop stores and use the delivery. And it's that combination that makes it really powerful. And we're betting on that. Do you have to change store layouts? Do you have to change employee training? How much of that do you expect to be, if so, a competitive advantage? Uh, how quickly can you do it? You know, uh, a great question. Over the last few, four months, the demand for uh, omni-channel, del delivery solutions pickup, went up significantly, a, a step change. And so we ramped ca capacity capability, new capabilities to deliver it, uh, added a lot of people to it. There are some changes to the store, but it's not as much as you would think because you still have all the great product, especially the fresh product. You take it straight from the store. And, and, so the, and then we're working on new models, uh, which might be a little more, a, a more dramatic change to the store, but we're working on all forms. The game is still so early that uh, we are continuing to experiment while growing it. Yeah, I think that's one thing investors should know about the space if they don't already. That is that it's very fluid. The business models are fluid. Uh, ownership structures are fluid. I remember when the talk was that you were going to go after Whole Foods when it was still public. Uh, what is your, your mood for acquisition uh, at this point of the game? Carl, we're very good at it. You know, we built this company through acquisitions. Very good at it. Very good at creating value post-acquisition, delivering the integration. Right now, we're focused on creating more value through the assets that we have. And we have a great set of assets. We have plenty of headroom there. Uh, but we're always uh, eyes open. You know, when the right opportunities come by, we will do it. Uh, but it's not a, a primary thrust of, our, thrust of our growth agenda and value creation. 